You know, I've often thought that the reason that so many creationists get hung up on Genesis, like, say, for instance, answers in Genesis, is because the Bible is a very long, very boring book, and they really can't be bothered to read the rest of it. And Ken Ham from Answers in Genesis, in his recent debate with Bill Nye, really does ram this point home, in that evidently he and his biblical literalism never got as far as the second book of the Bible, that is, Exodus. Um, matter by itself could never produce life, no matter what energy you have. And, you know, if you, even if you've got a dead stick, you can have all the energy in the world in that dead stick, it's going to decay. Uh, and it's not going to produce uh, life. So there you go. According to Ken Ham, you can have all the energy in the world, and you can't make this stick alive. And that's coming from a biblical literalist. However, if Ken here had made it to the second book of the Bible, he would have known that God tells Moses to impress Pharaoh with a genuinely God-approved miracle of, you guessed it, turning a stick into something alive. And God spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Shew a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went unto Pharaoh, and they did as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Apparently, after creating the entire universe in the first book, God's powers are now reduced to trying to influence people by this double act of turning sticks into snakes by some miracle in some minor desert province. I mean, come on, this God was meant to have created the entire universe only one chapter earlier. Would it really have been so much to ask for him to just have teleported his chosen people to the promised land, <laughs> like Star Trek style or something? Ah, but I can hear people say, Ken's okay, because that was a genuinely God-approved biblical miracle. <laughs> well, actually, no, because it turns out in the Bible, God's not the only one who can perform miracles. Pharaoh's magicians can quite happily turn sticks into things that are alive. Then Pharaoh called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt. They also did in like manner with their enchantments. Which is why people think the Bible is fuck nuts crazy. Because you can't turn sticks into snakes. So with that, I'll leave you with a biblical literalist using his reasoning and his understanding of the natural world to show why the Bible cannot be literally true. Um, matter by itself could never produce life, no matter what energy you have. And, you know, if you, even if you've got a dead stick, you can have all the energy in the world in that dead stick. It's going to decay uh, and it's not going to produce uh, life.